You may know David Guest for his marriage to Liza Minnelli, his appearance on I'm a Celebrity, or even his friendship with Michael Jackson. But a side you may know less about is his love of collectibles from films, music and television. And now he's auctioning some of them off at Bonhams in London. These are just the highlights of David Guest's collection of entertainment memorabilia. But where did his affection for it all begin? I was on a date with Latoya Jackson. I must have been 16 or 18. And she got sick when I got to the Jackson's house. And Michael said, would you take me to a memorabilia show? And I said, what's memorabilia? I had no clue. He said, look at this poster of Jimi Hendrix signed, this poster of James Brown. He goes, I collect He goes, memorabilia, memorabilia. you got to get into it. I mean, are you going yeah. to miss this stuff that you're selling off here? Not really. After I left the jungle, I went home to the States, and I walked in my house, and I felt like I was in a museum. Which were the favorites? My favorite piece is Jim Morrison's personal gold record for Light My Fire. Um, that, to me, is and Brian Jones' personal gold record for I Can't Get No Satisfaction. I'm told that's one of the most valuable pieces. It's got a guide it price is. of between ten and 15000 I know, you could buy a lot of Kit Kat bars for that. Oh, that's definitely what I'd spend the money on, yes. I know. Now, I figured, as I was coming to look at your collection here today, I should bring a bit of my own celebrity memorabilia. This was a necklace that I was wearing when I met Uri Geller for the first time. And uh, as you'll see, it's slightly bent. Now, I don't know how much we can see that on the camera. It I can see it. Good. It wasn't bent beforehand, so uh, he bent that for me, and then he got out his metal signing pen and signed the back. What do you reckon of that? Do you think anyone would want to buy it? Is it worth more now that he signed it, or is it worth less now that it's broken? I think it's probably worth more. And this is me and my friend impressionist John Coleshaw. Um, he looks like Des Lynham in that picture because he's wearing a prosthetic face. I'm not. That's my real face. Uh, I could get him to sign it. I could sign it too. Do you reckon that's worth anything? 150 pounds. Oh, now, that's good. It's a sports relief sock from when I took part in sports relief. Do you think that's worth anything, or is it only suitable for doing the cleaning? I think it's only suitable for cleaning, but you know what? It's red, so the dirt won't show that badly. Meanwhile, David's about to tour in a musical about himself, with songs like this in it. I went to the jungle a year ago to do a reality show. My <laughs> friends all said I'm nuts, but I showed them I got guts. Now, would you really want to see this crazy person in concert? Why not? I'll leave you to decide. Laura Lewington, 5 News.